Scotty, the Bombers made a fast start. Carlton seemed to control those middle stages and then the Bombers came home strong. What did you make of it all? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Bombers got off to a great start, really were fishing up forward. Uh, so a couple of goals to, to Joey uh, to start the game well. And then uh, Liam Jones played a very good game on him. Uh, overall, Carlton worked their way back into the game. Clearances they were very good at. Uh, I think Gibbs and Murphy started to work their way into the game. Cruiser was solid around that. And uh, once you don't make the most of your opportunities, and throughout the day, goal kicking was a challenge uh, for the Essendon boys. Uh, just Carlton were around close enough and they were to work their way back into the game and then really get on top. So to see the players, the Essendon boys, in that last 15 minutes work their way back into the game and really dominate, not quite get the results they deserved on the scoreboard, but to walk away with a win uh, in those circumstances was still very, very important. A few areas to work on, but overall you take the four points this time of the year and move on to Adelaide. You touched on the goal kicking there. Kale Hooker obviously had a few opportunities, but what did you make of his game overall and, and his impact in that last quarter? Oh, look, two goals, five. But th that is a small part of what he did. His work rate and the way that he presented I thought was incredibly important because what you had was Liam Jones doing... And Joey kicked three goals and played a very good game for three goals because he had a quality opponent on him. So therefore, Kale, who had a good match-up, was able to exploit that and take plenty of inside 50 marks and shoot for goal. Now, missed three or four, but importantly, he nailed the one that he needed to, which contributed uh, to the win in the end. A lot's been made about Essendon and their uh, sort of not really tagging players this year. Bryce Gibbs was excellent in round three when the Bombers uh, played the Blues. How did Essendon tackle him this time? Look, there's been games this year that uh, Essendon have decided to almost, uh, I think you'd call it a soft run with or an awareness for a direct opponent. And uh, we saw that role with uh, Myers on the weekend, spending some time on Gibbs. And uh, he was able to nullify that impact to a certain extent. I think as the game went on, Gibbs started to have an effect. So uh, we look forward this week to Myers potentially going to Sloan in a similar type role. How'd you rate Dyson Heppel's performance? Oh, I thought it was really, and when you're captain, we refer to a captain's game, but I thought his leadership and his uh, control and balance out there and his direction, and not, and in addition to that, he kicked an important goal, led from the front, got in the hole, took some intercept marks. It was a great game from Dyson. Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody, the game was on the line in those last 10 minutes. Essendon needed a spark, and he seemed to be the provider of that. How did you rate his, uh, his output against the Blues? He had a huge impact on the game that goes beyond kicks, marks and handballs. And he impacts in so many different ways. We saw him run through the middle of the ground and kick it with uh, great touch to green. We saw the one-arm tackle on uh, the wing to win the free kick. Uh, we saw the great goals he kicked. We saw him take intercept marks in the back line. I think uh, wherever he went, because he's such a good ball user, uh, with ball in hand, he was able to make good decisions that helped to score. Well, it all sets the platform for a massive game against Adelaide this weekend. Scotty, we look forward to previewing that with you later in the week. Pleasure.